those those puns. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Blood Hunter. Let's see this. Yeah. We're here. We can put you up here. Or. What? I can put you over here. This is kind of where you are. Oh, um, I had a question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Can I ask for one magic item? It's a common one, and it's just for like flavor. Maybe. Uh, basically, I have I have the right to have a plate. I just want to have a uh, gleam uh, glamour plate. Because, you know, I don't want to look like a can of beans. Eh, sure. You know, the frog and the can of bean. It's not my thing. <laughs> I ain't no frog legs. Look, the glamour is just the look of the clothing. Yeah. <laughs> it does nothing for the rest of your body. No, no, I know, but like... I won't. I won't look like a frog inside of a kind of bean. That's what I mean. I mean, that's saying anybody who's wearing plate would be in a can of beans. Yeah, which isn't the case. All right, button has been pressed. I think it's time for bears and dragons. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Bears Let's and go dragons. kill some shit. All right, so I got you guys hanging out in the uh, Sanctum of Eyes. Uh, however, um, Boy and Frederica are not there. Well, they are there, just... Not like that. Not alive. <laughs> uh, they're in a gentle repose. Yes. Um, previously, I'm Bears and Dragons. Somebody recap for me. What happened last time? Crim is the re Crim is the recall the recaller. Well, squall. Crim's sleep right now. Well, do you want me to say what happened with my French accent? <laughs> All right. So, the Pirates of Faith somehow showed back up at the eyes of Io, with all of them pretty much dead, except for Crevis. Um, which we come to find out that it was Io himself acting through Krebus to say that saved everyone. Um, but with the help of the eyes of Io and Krebus, they've been able to determine that they can bring everyone's everyone back to life as long as they, their souls are in the proper afterlife. They're not being held captive or made into something else and whatnot. Um... In comes a new group of adventurers all being brought to the eyes through some ways, machinations and stuff. Um, and they have been tasked to find at, find the souls of the Pyres of Faith. So they got a... They um, were given some information to go uh, check with an old acquaintance of the Pyres of Faith. Uh, little priestess cleric priestess over in Waterdeep our friend Dele, um, to see if uh, she can help us out we uh, with her um, guidance and her, she was able to communicate with her god we found out that the, in fact that the pirates of faith their their souls are still in does not in the in hell um but they're not, uh, they're not made into laments, was it? The muse. Lemures. Some people say lemurs, oh. but... The muse, uh, which is Lemures, a good thing for yeah. us. Which is good for us. Um, but they are sadly being held by... They're being held by Asmodeus. So, um, just for the flavor, Shelley had to say something. Okay. And she started singing the song of Ursula. You poor unfortunate soul. In pain. In a song need. similar like that, but not copyrighted French. Exactly. 
Um, so then the I uh, the this new group of adventurers uh, went back to Eyes of Io, let them know what was going on, and they um, are now waiting to see because uh, the I. Leon and everyone is trying to see what they can figure out to help this group of adventurers out. And then sexcapades happened and whatnot with a few of the new members and the Eyes of Io. Uh, the Warlocks got it on and uh, uh, Percy ended up getting a Barbarian. Yes! For the Barbarian. And, that, and, the, and Jorn... Or was it the Barbarian getting Percy? I mean, why not both? I think we did did uh, roll to find out that Percy was on top. Yes. I mean, he can be on top and bottom. But... Anyways, we did figure out positions and thick sizes. Yeah. Yes. I hope you all, <laughs> and, I hope all who the, rolled had figured out their dick sizes. And somewhat, the two feet frog has a four, has a five inch five inch dick. That's all I need to say. I'm worried about blood loss there. <laughs> <laughs> Percy used to worry about blood loss too. I don't know about and, that. No, Percy's well, pretty tall. Well, <laughs> Percy's well, okay. Tall. Percy's okay. He can only feel one tail at a time. Oh my god. Womp womp. Anyways. Uh, that's right. Um, uh, uh, our, our grung, our hero, Edward, uh, got to uh, sleep on a... Out uh, in the ocean. Uh, along with uh, uh, the bronze dragonborn that you're in. Yes. Monk. Well, short... Sh Showed Jorn a good time. Mm -hmm. Then Jorn only rolled four in Constitution. <laughs> well, he's 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 yeah. more of a bookish <laughs> bookish waterlock. <laughs> <laughs> Squall has seen some things and learned some things. Um. In any case, uh. Y'all wake up in the morning. Uh, there's uh, breakfast is made. Uh, pretty much anything that you like, um, you can. Um, during breakfast, uh, a, the Asmar woman, uh, Sylvia, uh, uh, enters and says, Well, I've got some good news and bad news. Actually, they're kind of both both um greenest was okay. recently attacked by an economy dragon what's an economy dragon my question exactly uh is incarnate and, its name the the end says well that must be raven chronos uh we've been actually try, ch trying to chase him down in order to take him back to um, our world. Uh, he's been bouncing from plane to plane for a while, and we were hoping to cut him off before he got here, but apparently he must have gotten, they have gotten here much sooner. Sooner. And now at least we know where they might be. And it is fortunate, as Raven Kronos is also a servant, normally, of the Raven Queen. Sorry, I'm not connecting the dots here. How is that helpful? Uh, on our world, and actually on a few others, um, the Raven Queen is the goddess of death. And the kind of tr the transition between. She's very, very neutral. This could possibly get... If we can save Raven Kronos from, his mad from their madness, we may be able to... We may be able to... He may be able to help us get in contact with his mistress, with their mistress. Hold up. You want us to go find a dragon? You, 
you want us to go on the Shadowfell or just try to speak with the Raven Queen? Well, I think they want us to go find a dragon that's on this plane. Yes. What do we know about this incarnate dragon? So, an, an actual... Oh, oh, am I the only one that sees a problem here with the fact that you want us to go find a dragon? I mean, finding a dragon is not the problem. Fighting and finding the said dragon. I have, I have, in, I have issues altogether with dragons. Okay, there. So many issues. And there's some good memories. Percy too. looks very offended. You're a lizard, not a dragon. They're my cousins. Yeah, cousins, yeah. I said I've had bad memories, and if you heard me right, I said I had some good memories, too. I should call him. That's like me saying that I was- I, I choked once, so I don't like air people. Um, okay? I mean, if his dick was air, too big. Air can be- air can be deadly. Where- where can I find that? I gotta- I gotta send him a letter. I- I just- I'm- I'm gonna go take care of something real quick. After- after all this, I need to take care of something. Well, I- I believe that our charge right now is to, uh, assist in the matters. We, are uh, charged not to directly involve ourselves from- from Io. But anybody who is currently from this plane, um, will be able- well, except for Frederica, I suppose. Uh, but, uh, 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 is will be able to help. Uh, in fact, I believe that Krebus will be able to wield this. And he uh, puts onto the table a giant warhammer that is, is who's that's head just looks like it has plates of many different colors, as well as the the uh, holy symbol that both um, Krebus. That Krebus, Baboon, and um, uh, Leon have, which is just a circle with little plates of, of different colors, the colors of, the, of dragons, and inside the center is a circle with, of an, a dragon eye. And it says, That's a nice hammer. This is Io's will. It was bequeathed to me by Io himself. Krebus? I believe you will be able to wield it. With its help, you will be able to help help these uh, this team um, by using it to protect them. And uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, suppress some of the dragon's power. And Carnum Dragon is. Should he be, should they be uh, fighting you, can be, a, well, a dangerous situation. I believe I might be able to arrange uh, some quick transport to, towards Greenest. And we, as long as you would be able to locate to where this, where the dragon is, it you will should be able to defeat them. Um, we also have a few few things that would also be able to help. And um, he says, "Quote," and uh, Dom goes, "You're back." And goes, uh, checking out of the room. Is Krevis coming with us? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, if, I mean, based off of what I can tell, and he picks up the the hammer. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this can only be wielded by some of the chosen vile, and well, based off my current situation, um, I guess I'm case, one of them. Who is suppose who is going to lead this party expedition? Who's going to be the uh, mastermind behind all this? Well, part of this is to save my husband, but um, based off of what I think think that Leon is insinuating here, 
I'm going to have to be concentrating. So I won't be able to actually make any attacks or anything in order to depress their power. Y'all seem to be having to save each other a lot. You and your husband. Uh, actually, this is kind of the first time that it's really happened. Maybe the first time is a warning. Now, now don't you speak speak bad about my husband. What's with the pet lizard? And he points at Percy. <laughs> who's <laughs> who's saying this? What? Like, who's 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 saying what's with the pet lizard? <laughs> Percy. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, no, and he points at Percy, virus. and I'm like, what? <laughs> What's with the pet lizard? Spade. <laughs> That's where like, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> that doesn't make sense to you. I mean, okay, fine, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> who, are, who are you pointing at about a lizard? Stop, he's already dead! <laughs> I'm I guess I just won't talk anymore. <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, where did this pet lizard come from? <laughs> are you pointing out Layden or Lemon, or, or are you talking about the uh, pseudo dragon? Cyrus. Oh, oh, Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus. <laughs> well, we okay, we ain't. Gotcha. We aren't went where the they are being held. We're at like no, the... but he's like, what's with that? Oh. Uh. Uh, that, that's Easy. actually Cyrus. He's, he's actually currently a mini dragon. Like a dragon, but smaller. And, it's an but he's adorable not a one. That's what it is. He's actually a really powerful wizard. Oh, that's... I'll believe it when I see it. Doot! And then I'll whistle away. Oh, Might not get that chance. I mean, my goal is not to throw shade or anything, but probably you wasn't that great. Okay, I... Never mind, that's Dustin coming out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> Focus. I mean, in case... not not oh. trying to insult oh. anyone there, oh. but either they, they chewed on something bigger than they could, or they, wouldn't, they, they just thought they were bigger than they were. And I know something about size. We all know something about size. You miss the fact that they died fighting five dragons, or was that just me? Was I the only one that heard that? No, I heard that. Okay, good. Like, like I said, I'd like to see you take on five dragons, Mister Hopper. No, how, how would that go? Alone, I wouldn't be that crazy. But a crew, things can always be uh, done. I guess depends on the one with. Past is the past. It doesn't matter now. This is. This is our yes, a lot bit of what we need to do. It's not us to judge another group of people's actions. No, we're here to save them souls because everybody is going to help and their help is sure going to be there to help. Though, I still have a question. How are we going to rescue the soul of the elephant and the blue woman? I've never seen that kind uh, around my village or any other village, to be exact. Well... Well, according to Shalei, all of the souls are being held in by Asmodeus. It's not just the people of this plane, right? it's everyone's soul is there. So once they're released, the, the reincarnation magic, I guess that's what they're trying to do. It's from what I heard, like, I remember hearing it's reincarnation. It doesn't matter where their souls are. It'll be a resurrection. Resurrection. Um, okay, doesn't so matter we... where their souls are, since every all afterlifes are technically a different plane. So our goal is to make a deal with Asmodeus, or to sneak in and take them by force. Because well, the second well, option well, is the second option is not advisable, and the first. I one is... feel like we are jumping the gun a little bit. Um, I say we figure out first how to get to. Where the souls are. Well, like, why worry about a problem before we even get to the place where the problem is? I get, I get why you're saying that, 
But why would we wouldn't we focus on how can the souls get to us? Well, we they're being held by a lord of hell. I understand I, I, that part. Well, you you keep on talking about other things that are you keep sorry you keep talking about things that are we have to deal with that issue. Okay. Did you, you just verify it, something? For demons, um, what's the name? Souls are like coins, right? They're, it's it's money. Right, wind? Is it that in your settings? Oh, yeah, you're you're talking about soul coins. No, soul coins are minted from souls. Yeah, well, no, souls like, don't have to be be minted into soul coins. Yeah, but souls are still like um. Exchange materials for for devils and demons. No. Well, it's it's a common currency uh, and fuel that is used in Avernus, at least. Oh, they can be bought. They can be traded, and they can be bargained with. Yeah, I bet. Honestly, demons probably don't even do deal with soul coins at all. So, would it be a, like uh, do how how I see it is would it be doable to like make a pact with Asmodeus for the, for those souls? I'm not getting into another pact. I know, right? I what? Maybe I I'm not sure how that wise an idea that, that is, but you know, because that that would solve the problem of you want to do going to the souls. Well, uh, what what we were Asmodeus, being the Lord of Hell, like all seven hells, yes, or all nine hells. There's nine hells, right? right? Nine hells, like, yeah. Nine circles I'm, of hell. I'm, I'm thinking of a different uh, scenario, which has seven. No problem. <laughs> Anyways, um, dealing directly with Asmodeus. We would need someone. We would need someone who would have influence. Uh, in the case of, in the case of the Raven Queen, at least from our realm, the, the Raven Queen and Asmodeus, when in their mortal forms, uh, were actually acquainted. So her first goal would be to deal with the Raven Queen to get her help for the Asmodeus? Or yes. directly with the Raven Queen for the problem at hand? Yeah. Basically, if we if we are able to uh, capture in if we are able to capture Raven Kronos, we may be able to relieve them of their madness and they may be able to assist us with making contact to th their mistress, who would then be able to go and see about retrieving the souls. And actually, that might actually be a better a better situation than Kelimvor. Honestly, I don't know the relationship between Kelimvor and, and Asmodeus. I don't think they... Let me check if I know something. I do know the relationship between the Raven Queen and the Asmodeus, though. I have no clue either. Yeah, you have no idea who, who the Raven Queen is. No, I've rolled for the Raven Queen first at 16. Yeah, it's you have relation. no idea who the Raven Queen is. <laughs> yeah, you just made a roll. Didn't even ask me because you're trying to, to figure it out. You just made a roll. So it's actually technically invalid. So... Anyways. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Fitch, as to yours, uh, probably not. Can I roll? I mean, anybody can roll a religion check. It's going to be very difficult. Oh. You have no Swall knows that. nothing. Swall has, knows nothing. He ain't the religious type of man. Yep, 
None of you, none of you have really heard about the Raven Queen at all. It is it is not familiar to you, mainly because the Raven Queen doesn't exist in Toral. Oh, that's why. <laughs> so, so ba basically, the 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 basic rundown here is is if you can essentially subdue Robin Kronos with the help of a spell using Io's will that Krebus will concentrate on. Um, then we may be able to relieve them of whatever is afflicting them. And possibly in, by doing that, we may be able to get their help on contacting the Raven Queen in order to see if she can uh, parlay, for lack of a better word, with Asmodeus uh, for the retrieval of the Pyre of Faith's souls. Okay. Yay, dragons! And then Leonon le leans back and says, I can see about getting arrangements in order to get you to the area of greenest quickly. And I believe uh, we have... Uh, I believe I have a contact that may be able to assist us. However, you will probably want to equip yourselves appropriately. For this will, will not be a battle that will be easy, even with um, the power of uh, the power of the spell that Krebus will be using. You will have access to our entire arm armory, as well as any magical items... That the Pyre of Faith have. Yeah. They're not using it right now. All we ask is that you return them. It sounds reasonable. Lovely. In addition, anything that is not any sort of artifact uh, that we that they carry, uh, you will be able to keep. <gasps> really? That's gonna change some so anything from our armory, uh, you will have the use of any of the equipment that the Pyre of Faith have, but the, they will probably want their equipment returned to them uh, once they've been resurrected. So this is this is basically a shopping episode, <laughs> or at least this portion. Yeah. Uh, I know there's one thing. Nope. Because armor, I'm good on. Since I can only use light. So the things that you have, have the artifacts that you can have, you have access to, is the Grimoire Infinitus, which I don't think anybody's going to use because none of you are wizards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the infiltrator's key. No. <gasps> the in, the wreath of the pr prism. I'm not sure how much the in infiltrator's key will be can be used, but it's there. Uh, the armor of the valiant soul, which is a scale nail. Uh, Deathwalker's ward. Uh, Fentress. Uh, Kiss of the train change burger. Plate of the Dawn Martyr, Fire Mall, uh, the Spire of Conflux, Titanstone Knuckles, might be good for Fitch, uh, and no one can use the Raps of Diamok. Yep. Luck Coin, uh, not available. Thunder uh, Reaper? Hmm? Thunder Reaper? Thunder Reaper? 
Thunder Reaper. It's one of the oh, evil Thunder ones. Reaper. Thunder Reaper? Um, you might have to find out if uh, Lemon would retrieve that for you. Uh, the battle plate slash hide of the metallics Dunsaber and the Glade of Storms oh the Glade of Storms <clears throat> is it normal that most pages are um, are no goes like Glade of Storm Blade of the Metallics um, I cannot um, open the page clearly enough. I don't see why you can. Are you doing that from your character on the campaign? Yeah, from the campaign, it's yeah. showing that. Um, not can't page not it. found. Um, question. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dawn Saber. Hypothetically, since it says Saber, could it be a finesse weapon? Purely for theoretical reasons. Where's the Dawn Saber? It's not written. Because it's a long sword, but it could also, like, it says Saber in the name. But you want the finesse. Yeah, that's oh, I think so he's just looking time. at him. Would that make sense for it to be finesse? Uh, no. Okay. Because aside from that, I don't think there's really anything for Percy. <laughs> None of the artifacts will be good for it. Do we maybe want to, uh, like, roll and see who gets who's first or something? No, what do you, what, well, what are you looking for? Maybe you're the yeah, only one that's looking for it. I, I, I didn't want to pick something that someone else wanted, that, that's why I... I'm not going for any of the artifacts, so... Edward, Edward is not going to be greedy about anything. Yeah, so you just whatever you're, you, it's it's a complete discussion. So I would just like let the us know trader's key. It's yours, baby. Okay. I'm a rogue. It makes sense. It's yeah. a key that casts rogue stuff. There's nothing that seems very good for a warlock, especially since they only have light armor. It's a it's the awakened form, right? Yep. Okay. I don't know what everything does. It's I'm currently looking at everything. Do we have a list of all of the items that are available? Yeah, if you go under my campaign in D and D Beyond, and then yeah, we can see them. Uh, well, you can click. Uh, some of them, like there's a few that you can't click on, which I don't yeah. think some of them would be good for. But a lot of the other ones you still can't click on. Yeah, a lot of the links that I had written, it, it might have been old links from, yeah, and there may have been some changes. Oh, there we go. Oh, th that makes sense. Bye. Yeah, I believe the links are just to the dormant ones, too. Or were meant to be for the dormant ones. Yeah. yeah, and I think they're they're older ones, so you might just have to look them up through your character sheet. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Could I also have Fenthras? Sure. The longbow. And if nobody, I don't want to take three 
things. Again, Squall's not taking anything. He's, he doesn't like anything that he sees. The wreath of the prism back. also looks good. Yeah. Strangely enough, I believe the one who had wreath of the prism and infiltrator ski was boy. <laughs> it was boy. <laughs> Fenthras is dormant, correct? Uh, Fenthras is awakened. I think all of them are awakened, except for the um, armor of the Valiant Soul. They, no, they, everything should be awakened. So I didn't see an awakened thing for it. Do I? No, they, they're not written, but they're still awakened. Like, I think when we I, killed the dragon, uh, they all awakened, just for the purpose of it. But I just don't think you ever wrote anything in for it. Yeah. Because we weren't using it, like, um, uh, the ruin was not. Did you make a awakened armor soul? Because honestly, like, uh, I'll take, uh, Squall will take the, um, brief, the, the, the armor of the Valiant Soul. Hey, uh, what's your name? Per, Percy? Percy. Um, there's yes. a dagger, um, that gives, uh, po poison damage. Which one's that one? Oh, there is an awakened in, in, um, yeah, it, it exists. It's just yeah. the link on, on the page. I, I haven't updated those links to be whatever the current, yeah. which is the current okay. that it's at. What, so you're going to have to actually look them up in the D&D &D Beyond. Uh, oh, Venom Fang. Uh, Venom Fang, you have not found. Is no, evil. Wait. Oh, that's medium armor. Damn. Oh, yeah, you did find that one. I can't take use that one. Is that you, the one you were talking about? Fitch? You could use the Death, um, the Death Walker's Ward, which is a leather armor. Is that the one? I... It's light, and it's it's linked with the Raven Queen. Just saying. Like, yeah, that's the one that doesn't have a awaken. Yeah, but uh, do you want me to tell you what it is? No, don't worry what, about that. What Death Walker's Ward? Yeah, I have it up here. Did not create an awakened Death Walker. No. So, I, I actually got through all that. I know. I'll take you. I can take you to my Uh oh yeah, I didn't didn't make the awakened Death Walker sword. No one was using it at the time and no one planned on using it, so That was probably why why I hadn't made it. Um, also, when I click on Battle Plate... You just got to look that one up and, like, go on your character sheet and do the man uh, equipment management and look that up. Because, um, okay. yeah, that's one of those that's not working. But it is. Um, and, see, for you, that would be nice because it gives, for Paladins, it, uh, the Awakened gives you an additional level 1 smite. Oh. Like, you, you get a free level 1 smite. We'll so that. what what if someone isn't a paladin and they, and they use there's, it? There's one there's a a feature for every class. Oh. Just for the paladin, I know it's a free level one smite. Crit at it, so like I know that armor. <laughs> yeah, it, it it still appears as as hide while it's on him, but when it's taken off, it turns into this suit of metallic armor. What's going on? Yeah. And just keep in mind, besides the the artifacts. You, you do there are still magic items. 
Which, um, I know there's nothing I want. Can I pick up um, uh, the um, displace, displacement uh, cloak? Cloak of displacement? Yeah, I think. Didn't somebody have that? Yeah. Yeah, um, Gizli. Gizli, so it's there to be a road. If someone throws in mine, I'll be taking that. So I have a question, mm -hmm. because it's fun. Mm -hmm. We have found the Venom Fang. Have we found the Silken Spite as well? Yeah, we have the Silken Spite. Cool. Percy wants to use both of them. Cool. Um, that is... You, that is you are currently sense. unaware that they exist. Yeah. True. Justin wants Percy to use both of them. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like while well, Cyrus kept looking for the Iron Hand of Vecna. <laughs> he had no idea what it was, but he wanted that. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you want a... Well... No, it's built as a flail, not as a whip. I was going to say there's the uh, dragon star. That's a flail. Yeah, that's what I was like. I, I forgot I built it as a flail, not a whip. Yeah, basically any of the evil artifacts are currently locked away. The only person that actually would have access to that is uh, Consulta Lemon. Are they available? You're yeah, unaware this... that they even exist because yeah. no one oh, has told you. Circlet of Bard Vision is seen. Oh, yeah, okay. Because it's on the head of Federica. Well, if that was the case, uh, Finthris would be being held by Ketherick. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's available. We, any... Any artifacts that our characters had on them, we our new characters can see and borrow. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, any, I don't. I, any I don't of have the, a problem. Yeah, any yeah. of the stored artifacts that are considered good, um, they would uh, they would communicate that they exist to you and will let you borrow. Um, uh, anything that's listed as evil. No one tells you about. You have no idea they even exist. Beside one, like I said. I, mean, I think the circle of barb vision just it didn't really have any negative things to it. So. Yeah, no, there's no negative beside the minus uh, charisma. I was um, thinking which the about... paladin is not gonna take. It's probably uh -huh. a good idea for the Paladin yeah. to take it. Something that lowers the charisma. Lowers the charisma? Yeah, it lowers by two, the charisma, but it gives the, uh, the, a lot of nice things. The circulated barb vision. That, that is. I was thinking about getting the Thunder Reaper, but since I don't know about it... And... Hey, if you have no idea that it even exists. Yeah, yeah. That's sadly. I was thinking about the same thing, but it's okay. I'll wait. Yeah, that's why I was talking about it. We both yeah, no, no problem with that, but like, it, it's not available, so. Um, okay, the Deathwalker's Ward should actually now, it, Awakened should now exist. I'm not sure how quickly it will update in your equipment. List. Basically, it just gives you a bonus to uh, a, uh, a plus two to AC instead of plus one, and. Uh, 
while wearing this attuned armor, the wearer chooses or and imbues the armor with resistance to a damage type of your choice: fire, cold, acid, lightning, or necrotic. Um, I don't know if it's leather. you. I don't know if it's you who had it. it. Do we have access to uh, the Riven Crest? I didn't hear. Oh, if you listen to me, I don't think anyone way. had that. Okay. Oh, what, what was it? The uh, Raven Crest. No. Raven Crest. No. Yeah. No. Like it doesn't sound familiar, so I don't think anyone had that. I'm not aware of a thing called the Raven Crest. It's in the item that I can select. Do you want me to put it on my sheet so you can click it? Sure. It's been added. Uh, where is Edward? May I take oh, the plate? Oh, 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 no, that was for a completely uh, different campaign. Okay, that's why. That does not <laughs> exist. Can I take um, not allowed. the battle plate of the metallics? I think if Fitch, Fitch isn't taking take it. it. Oh, Finch, would you want it? Never mind, take it. Otherwise, be better take... Fitch. I I don't mind you no. taking it. Well. No problem. I'm not taking it. I mean, since you are like two levels of cleric, you could take the um, uh, play of the Dawnfather. Dawnfather. It just should Dawn change it Father, to yeah. Plate of the Dawn Daddy instead. Oh, um, the uh, Plate of the Dawn Martyr. Dawn Martyr, that's it. Place, plate, plate of the Dawn Daddy. I second I mean, that no, position. It's, no, it's a Martyr, not a Dawn Daddy. Not a Actually, Dawn Father, yeah. So. Uh, I'm uh, gonna take... uh, uh, daddy. Plate Did of I the Dawn Daddy. Knuckles? I'm going to take... Uh, do you want a Dawn Martyr or do you want the Metallics? Fitch, go, go ahead, ahead and take the, the Titan Stone Knuckles. Um... Uh, okay. Uh, so battle plate of metallics or what? Well, battle plate. Uh, okay, L let me kind of make this clear. The plate, of, the battle plate of the metallics, is more aligned with paladin. The plate of the dawn martyr is more uh, along the lines of a cleric. Okay. Yeah, right. I'll I'll take the metallic one. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good for you. Okay. Um, I... um, Joe, it doesn't have the plus two on my C because of the. Um, I'm just gonna get, give the magic one a plus two. Is this awakened? Titan yes. stone. Yep. Everything's awakened, right? Yep. Right. Okay. All right. That's done. And I don't have a weapon, but it's not relevant. So um, I'm going to ask if they have staffs in stocks. We sure do. Yeah, I'm, I'm on to what quartz might have. I mean. A lot, a lot of the lines yeah. of the, the basic blue items. So blue. But I think that's that's rare. Yeah. yeah. I'm still going to ask if by any chance he could have a Staff of Power. But I doubt. It's a very rare. Yeah, sorry. That's a really hard one to make. Yeah. I am looking for the Rod of the Pack Keeper. Uh, of course you're that you are. Of, of course. course you are. <laughs> it's like one of the few warlock. Do you want to do you want a cloak of the Archmage Eye with that? That would that would be nice. <laughs> but I think that's a very rare. Uh I think it's legendary. Yeah. It, it, it's something I can't get. <laughs> of course not. Let's 
Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a wondrous mm -hmm. item. Why is athletics the only strength skill? Because what else would you use that use it for? I don't know, but it just seems weird. Well, there I, is no there's no yeah, skills for for cons, constitution. Yeah. yeah, but that makes sense. Strength is more yeah for like carrying weight, and then you have the one skill for athletics. I mean, throw could be there, jump could be there. That was a, that, they put it athletic. in. Yeah, is... they put it in athletics. But it, it makes sense if you're really fit, you're not gonna be really, really good at climbing, but fucking suck at jumping. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could, you could have chicken legs. Okay, but then that sounds like a character problem, and then you just get a minus three to jump. And yes, Squall, there's a plus two uh, rod of the pack keeper. And then, um, also, uh, Bracers of uh, Protection. Uh, Cyrus had those. He's wearing them right now. Oh, did he? Yeah, you can take those, for sure. Yeah, he might have actually gotten those from court, too. <laughs> he did. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, Squall, yeah, let me give you a correction. Deonis has a, a Rod of the Pack Keeper plus three. Wow. Ooh, oh, yay. are we looking? Are we allowed to look for specific magic items now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Fancy Bard item. Wow. Five okay. E. Okay, let, let me list off some of the items that you might find that that uh, Daniel Kell and and uh, uh, Yaros had. Daniel had studded leather plus three, uh, the rod of the uh, pack keeper plus three. So, well, it's taking that, I'm sure. Uh, an iron stone of protection, and a wand of fireballs. Oh, that doesn't work people wearing armor. So actually, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna take the Bracers of Defense. Okay. I'll take the Luck Stone. Or the Luck Coin. Whatever. The Luck Coin. Yeah, Luck Coin. Um, Kel also had a plus three studded leather. Uh, he had a plus three hand crossbow. Uh, amulet, amulet of Health, Book of Displacement, and a Rapier of Life Stealing. Ooh, what is the Rapier of Life Stealing? When you attack a creature with this magic weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, that, cr that target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage if it isn't a construct or an, or an undead. You also gain 10 temporary hit points. Heck yeah. That's if you create. <laughs> That's cool. Yoink. Um, Gizli had animantite armor too. If anyone's interested, that uh, negate negates crits. It was uh, what was it? Yaros, who was a bard, had. Ol Olam's Harp. Stead of Leather Plus Three. A dancing Rapier. And a Ring of the Ram. It's a Ring of the Ram. I am grabbing that harp. What the heck? That's so cool. For one charge, you can cast Confusion, Control Weather, Firestorm, Fly, Invisibility, Levitate, or Protection from Good and Evil. Be nice. 
Oh, and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charges. Yes! Oh my god! Oh he... my god! I owe a god? Or whatever. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, Io is the god that um, oh. Tiamat and Bahamut were born from. Was they are the progenitor they... of uh, those two. Would Fitch know that? Um, probably not. Probably was not something that would have been brought up. Oh. Okay. Eldritch so, Blast plus twelve. Io, to hit. Io isn't a god that he would know of. No. no. Okay. So. If, okay. if you inquire about it uh, with the eyes of Io, they would they would explain it for you. I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> oh, I oh, I have those too. Um, I'm gonna ask him if he has a uh, elemental essence shard, which is a rare item. It's a focus for uh, sorcerers. Um, roll me a d4. Uh, I've got one of fire here. You have a cloak of protection? Oh, yeah, I got a couple of those. He goes over over to this what looks to be like some sort of locker, but the handle's like in the middle, and he pulls, and and then there's this like, just this like, hanger rack, and it has like a series of cloaks that are all identical. <laughs> just a few. Okay, I am happy with how my character is. Um. I'm gonna ask the uh, equipment guy. I forgot his name. Court. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? What weapon would he uh, recommend? Ooh. Yeah, asking the shopkeeper for recommendations. Good on ya. Well, uh, you're, you're you're going after a dragon, uh, essentially. Uh, the downside is you kind of don't want to, like, in this case, we don't want to kill them. We just kind of, like, want to knock them unconscious, and then uh, we're, we're going to shackle them. I've got a few devices here here for you to, to take care of that. Uh, obviously, if you can actually get them attached to them before it happens, it will knock them unconscious. But it, it, there's, like, you have to put all four of them on a, each of his limbs or they um, magically they're a magic item right but uh any of these and he goes over to to uh, goes over to another drug and he pulls it out and it's just this series of it, it's just a bunch of different types of swords swords on just like racks there's rapiers there's long swords there's great swords uh a great sword um short sword you know Anything with sword in the name. It says, uh, these are dragon slaying swords. Strangely enough, for some reason, the dragon slaying property only works on swords. I never understood this. I kept trying to put it on an axe and it just wouldn't work. Um, Gizli had his uh, fire dragon slaying sword. Great that sword. has attunement, while well, these do not require attunement. So just keep that in mind. It, Gizli's uh, didn't. Did, it did we set it up should there? have because we also it also can like set itself on fire. I'll um, take your best dragon slayer, dragon slaying. Uh, let's say great sword. Okay, well they're all kind of 
They're all fine. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. Just in general, just just give. We did not that. set attunement to it. Well, Oops, we that actually should have been required attunement. Would by any chance would you have an amulet, an amulet of the devout? Oh, I can't wait till we go up against something. There's a dragon slayer rapier and scimitar, 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 mm -hmm. whatever. There should be one for greatsword too. Yeah, I I see it. I just uh wanted to point that out. Probably to uh Percival. Oh, what what what? Yeah. A what what what? Yeah, like, uh, you want a dragon slayer rapier or uh? No, I'm happy. I have enough stuff that I am attuned to. <laughs> well, well, dragon the... slayers don't require attunement for the yeah. basic dragon slayers. Oh, sure, I'll take it then. I have one more attunement slot. I'm full up and I'm, I'm... happy. I'm so happy right now. Like I said, do you have a uh, amulet of the devout? And what rarity do you? Put? Uh, I do have a plus two on this. Sure, I'll take it. The, the symbol on it is that of I.O. Thank you. Um, uh, and don't worry about the holy symbol. It's just you know, I of I.O., that sort of thing. That's how we kind of made them. So. It's okay. Dragons do taunters and lightning damage too. Oh, what do I want? I wanted... Hood, should you? Go ahead. Oh, this is just like in general. Should I do fire, cold, or acid resistance? Um, because you only have access to those three. Well, it's there's necrotic and um, like I already have thunder. Oh, yeah. um, it's pretty yeah. much resistance. To, like I could choose one of the main res any of the main resistance. Lightning. All right. Well. Um. It doesn't have resistance to thunder, so there's thunder and lightning damage? Yeah. Thunder is the sound and lightning is the electricity. Yeah, basically the thunder is essentially sonic damage. Yeah. Lightning uh, is electricity electric damage. What by any chance he had the plus three? For the amulet of the devout? Yeah? No, he only has two. Okay. It's nice still try. two. I mean, I tried. Yeah. It, it wasn't going to happen, but, you know. But, I mean, it, it, it worked with uh, with the um, uh, Rod of the Backkeeper. Could have worked, uh, but, like, you that, can't have everything. That was because Deonis has one of those. So that's actually oh, a borrowed yeah. item. So that's not, yeah, no, not a you can keep it. <laughs> uh, it's a borrowed win. Yeah, no, makes sense. Uh, part of this is you're also shopping for your reward for doing this job. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay, I don't know much about. I'm gonna hold on to the plus two as well. Okay. Um, yeah, it it, it 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 will say. Well, we could use this as payment since. Oh, that's right. Deonis had one of these. Uh, but yeah. you, you keep that because I know we're trying to pay you by giving you some magic items. So, and who knows? Uh, we don't know if uh, Reverend Crotus has accorded some sort of hoard or anything. So, yeah. What do we know? What do we know about this dragon? Like, what's his breath? With what is? Because I, I I doubt he's gonna want to like come back kindly. So so you would like to get information about an Acarnum dragon? Yes, if you have any. Well, finally, somebody asks. <laughs> He says, well, you probably want to talk about uh, talk to Leon about that. So you go find Leon. <laughs> I'll go find Leon after we're, after the shopping. Uh, but he will inform you that uh, because they're servants of the, of the Dragon Queen, uh, they do have resistance to fire. And uh, because they're kind of of that realm of death and souls, 
they are immune to uh, necrotic damage. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry, Fitch. Um, it's fine. <laughs> on the on the body of um of I yeah I, I, on of uh, Federica, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, join off the Cape of Mount Bank, okay. unless uh, and uh, kindly present it to uh, the Paladin. I think this cloak suits your colors. What is it? I don't know, but it suits your colors. So it's a, it, it would be the Cape of Mount Bank. Would I know what that is? Uh, probably not. Okay, so I won't look it up. <laughs> the, the gnome is going to know. You, it's well, I mean, once you tune to it, you'll you'll know. It's not attunement. Oh, it's not attunement? Yeah. Okay. That's why it's great. <laughs> oh, what is it called? The, the Cape of Mount, Mount Bank. M-O-U-N-T-E Bank. -E -Bank. Oh. This oh. cape oh. smells uh, faintly of brimstone. While wearing it, you can use it to cast the Dimension Door spell as an action. The property of the cape can't be used again until the next dawn. When you disappear, you leave behind a, a, a cloud of smoke, and you appear in a similar cloud of smoke at your destination. The smoke slightly obscures the space you left and the space you appear in, and it dissipates at the end of your next turn. Um, and again, can you spell the word that comes after of mount uh t h t h e yeah <laughs> mount <laughs> of the mount bank m o u n t e b a n k i put it in the chat okay um Ooh. yeah that's not coming up so what is um how uh, um, Leon's gonna say about the properties of this dragon, like so turning. He'll let, he'll let you know that uh, that it has resistance to fire. Yep, it is immune to necrotic damage. Uh, it cannot be paralyzed or put to sleep. Basically, it condition immunity is paralyzed yeah. or unconscious. I'm actually gonna help you out, bitch. Please and thank you. Well, it, it's more of when we're in combat. I got, I, I got something that can help you out. Oh, okay. Um, he has two different types of breaths. I'm gonna put that in quotes for two reasons. One, which is an actual breath, uh, referred to as a soul flame breath, which does both necrotic and fire damage. And it also has a soul drain breath. Um, when... it, which is, it really isn't a breath because instead of blowing out, it's sucking in and it will, it can drain Blow in. soul energy from creatures in a 60 foot cone. Oh, that may be uh, not fun. Um, does he has any property uh, on the way to escape? Like a teleportations or um, um, what's the name? Uh, passing through walls or something. Uh, it he he will definitely tell you that he it can't turn intangible. Um, it does have some abilities for teleportation, but whether it will actually use it or not is another matter. Um. Frequently, while it's in in combat, especially in a situation when um, it believes that it can win, uh, it will try to fight on. But because of it, it, it does have the ability of plane shifting. Yeah, that's. Uh... Um, what would you have goggle of night? Oh yeah, I got one of those. My eyes are not you are not what they used to be. Yeah, how many you need? Huh? Is everybody taking one or? Well, I don't know for the others, but I there are about think... ten of them. Yes, the, those are quite. What is it? The oh, whole of the night, <laughs> dark vision. I'm good. 
discounted dark vision items. It, it, it did, I believe, doesn't it like extend dark vision for those who already have it? Yeah, it does. Oh, does it? Then, yeah. yeah. Wait, does it require attunement? Nope. Then, nope. Yeah. It is a, a uh, uncommon, uncommon magic item, so. Because uh, I have a devil sight invocation, so I have magical, I can see the magical and non magical darkness. And you, I think it's, you had 60 or 30 feet to that? Because of the. Yeah, if you already have dark vision, wearing the goggles increases the range by 60 feet. Oh. So if you so have 60 foot dark vision already, you would get 100, 120. 80. Well, I get I already have 120, so I get 180 feet. Yeah, there you go. I always yeah, do keep in mind that be, because your invocation is magical and non-magical... Um, only to 120 feet can I see through magical. Right, an actual magical. I'm not sure if that will necessarily come up, but... Yeah. Case point, just you never know. Magic. Just in case, Cyrus tried to do some shit before with magical darkness, and like, okay, we're fixing this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I would like a decanter of endless water, please. Oh my god! Do not even go there. What? Don't you guys already have one? Yes. yes. Okay, so there there already is one. So Yeah, I need one. For what? Well, Grunz needs to be uh, submerged one hours in, in water per day unless um they want to be exhausted. Um I So you're one you you're gonna go to hell. As well, an no easily di de dehydrated creature. Who said you were going oh. to hell? Right now, the mission is taking you to greenest. Yeah, we're going in the forests. Um, oh. I never... Percy's not smart. I also can take uh, control water and create food and water, too. So, uh, for spells. Um, not. So, so, if you go to borrow the decanter of water, Court goes, oh, you know, you know what? It, it might be better if you had one that you could keep. Hold on a second. He goes back with one. I left my and nap home. He's got one. He he has one which has at the top. It looks like a drawstring. Yay! Like it's inside. Like it's it's almost like the decanter is inside a bag. Uh, but when you open it, you can open it big enough that you could crawl inside. It's a, it's a it's a spa. It's a portable spa. And and but normally the decanters have a much smaller opening. Yeah. But he he gets you one that that'll fit. By the way, you probably oh. want to use this, and and he actually gives you a portable hole. Oh yes, thank you very much. This, this will make it a lot easier to carry. He, yes, he, actually, he actually just hands you a a black piece of cloth. <laughs> it says this may <laughs> may help you carry this better. That's gonna help you like, carry a lot. Just of fold things. it up in a square about this big, <laughs> and you go. What is it? He goes. Oh, and he just like like whips it open and like slaps it against the wall. Hey, follow me. <laughs> he just walks in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and if you walk you. in, you see this kind of like little room space uh, yeah. with shelves. It says you can fit anything you want want in here. Walk as long as you keep that open. Don't. Make sure that doesn't close. Otherwise, it's also make sure you don't bring any like bags of holding or anything in here because then everything goes boom and it's not a good thing. No, I guess it is not. But this will, uh, I mean, you can put this on the ground. And the really neat thing about this portable hole is that when you put it on the on the ground, it'll be as if you were from above. That's what this ladder here is for. So however you orient it will be depend on where the actual entrance comes from. Either from oh. the ceiling or from the side. That's nice. Yeah, so you basically kind of have, have a little room here. And for Grung, it's awfully spacious. It is. Oh, I could fill this with water. I mean, I suppose you could, but it would ruin the shelves. Yeah. I don't have... 
oh oh here this might be be helpful and he goes up to one of the shelves and he just like pulls and it's just like it it's almost like a retractable bathtub <laughs> oh yes that's perfect i have my own bathtub now that's perfect yeah as long as you keep as long as it's it, it's open you it's open air can flow through just fine no one can actually see inside either too I mean, just so they everyone their knows. Head in. Yeah, what, what happened? <laughs> no, it was just oh, nothing, nothing outside of it. But for game now, my spell attack is plus twelve, and my spell DCs are twenty. What did like, you say? My... Yay, day, yay, access to Dayonis. <laughs> <laughs> what it would have been. It would have gone down one. Because I would have had the plus two instead of the plus three. Wow. So. Because I have a plus five in Constitution, in a Charisma, so. I mean, you're level 12 characters, too. Yeah. I was like, 18 AC, I have, oh my god, this is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to do some stuff, because I have a lot of, like, invocations for Talisman. Um. Would there be anything that, uh, hey, just checking. Was I muted just nope. now? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> okay. Is there anything that, uh, like increases wisdom or charisma? Uh, say, say, for instance, someone has a anger problem and they want to keep that in check. Um, I'm feeling really there called the, out here. It, there is this. <laughs> there is this thing called uh, not bothering to roll for w wisdom issues when it comes to anger issues, but uh, otherwise, um, sadly, uh, not really, because court would not have those. Okay. Um, also, those are well, rare items. I'm thinking the Ion Stones. Um. Fitch, do you have any more um, attunement slots? I have one more. Um, if you want, Marshak's Bulwark. It's the it's a shield. It's a living shield that gives you fire resistance and plus two to AC. Um, just as an just as an idea, Kriv had it. So, um, you can uh, always ask for a cloak of displacement too. I don't. Ooh. That that might work. I don't also use wind, I am supposed right to let now, you know that really. Josh says you look like a snack. You see my he just I raise his eyebrows. eyebrows. I'm wagging my <laughs> eyebrows. Um I'm gonna ask Quart. Mm -hmm. By any chance, would you have a bunch of these uh, uncommon magic items? The night callers? I can return them if you wish us so. Could I get a cloak of displacement? No, sadly, we do not have one of those. Cool. I mean, if you have to keep a mount bank, you can't can't use the cloak of displacement. Yeah, I could never find that. Do you want one? I don't mind giving the one I took. I'm not sure what it all does, really. Cloak of um, displacement? It makes it that people have a hard time hitting you. Quite the, useful for mage. Oh, well, yeah. if you already have it, then it's fine. Uh, uh, Court has a closet it, it, full of them. Yeah, a closet full of them. Yeah, remember you yeah, pulled so out every... the thing which had a bunch of cloaks on it. It's like these are all cloaks of displacement. <laughs> I I keep a good stock. Some people have been known to rip them and just tear them, and the magic goes away. So we need another one. Oh. 
Um, it projects so, an illusion so that gives you makes you appear as standing in a place near your actual location, causing any creature to have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. If you take damage, the property ceases to function until the start of your next turn. That's what a cloak displacement is. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So can I just add a cloak of displacement and yeah. mm -hmm. say that's a... Okay. And that could be one of your characters keeper. Um, and is this attunement? No, uh, yeah, yeah, attunement. Yes, uh, yeah, it's uh, attunement. Of course, that would be a broken item. Uh, yeah, because because you have you get every every single time someone attacks you for the first time each round, they have a disadvantage. That's yeah, without attunement, that's broken. Well, they have disadvantage until they actually hit you. <laughs> yeah. Once you get hit, then. Then it's gone, yeah. but then you get it. You get it back next turn. Yeah. So it resets. Yeah. Okay. I'm full on attunements. Okay. Anything else? That's um. Sorry, one thing. Sorry. No, I'm fine. All right. I think after doing some shopping, we're going to do a break. We should probably do a little short break here. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Get right back, folks. Never mind, he doesn't want to. He wants to be a queen. Talk about the shop. 
Is it funny that I can shoot farther than I can see? <laughs> well, see with dark vision. Farther than I can see. Like, doesn't matter. Light, light or day, I can hit something farther than I can actually see it. <laughs> How far can you, can you shoot? My LJ splats can go up to 600 feet. Oh, you can see that. I mean, it may not be necessarily easy. But <laughs> it's just, I say I'm a spell sniper. I am a fucking spell sniper. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Fitch, once we get the dragon's resistant, like um, resistance down, like the auto succeeds, I can use that and make it so you can hit it with necrotic. So I'm guessing that's what your big damage dealing element is. Uh, yeah. Sadly. But no, I actually have something that can help him out. Um, elemental bane. Ooh. That's so like once we get its resist, like its legendary resistance, are gone. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gonna have legendary resistance. And then I can hit it with that and make it lose it. It's just. Okay. No shuffles. Stuart. Stuart. Oh, no, we have just. Three spells left. Oh, we're using it. Okay, so it's all off, so I'll find a tablet. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. Percy, uh, I don't know if this was on purpose. No one else has said it. So your, um, camera is like, not... yeah, he, it's on purpose. Yeah. He said that before. He probably just ah. missed it. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, okay. good. I'm My back. hair, and I am gross after work, so. Impossible. Oh. I just want to say I'm a force to, to reckon with. Oh? Uh, I can hurt a lot. Emotionally? Yes. I bet I can and hurt first. You can probably hurt first. When I do, Probably. here comes the boom. And I get three blasts per EB. That's nice. I think the maximum I can do in a one turn, it's um, around 80 at our level. And like, if you succeed, it's going to be 40. Which is pretty nice. All right. Sounds like everybody's back. Everybody's done with their shopping. All, all quick. Well, well, we could just all take uh, water walking and just ignore terrains, I guess. Do we have a healer? Yeah. Kind of. Edward. 
Okay. Yeah. Nine nine. Nine. You, you meta, technically, meta. you technically also have a clarion with you, so. And yeah, and I, I technically do elings. I'm just not the great. Yeah, but you, you're, you're, you've got a, a clarion, uh, basically leading you on this expedition. So once your shopping is complete, uh. Creepus finds you and says, uh, Are you guys all ready to go? Yes. All right, follow me. Leon has connections, I tell you that. I can't believe it when I when I saw this. And he, he leads you out onto the beach. And you see four metallic adult dragons. He got us some rides. What the fuck? You see a, a uh, copper one, a brass one, a, a silver one, and a bronze one. I'm inciting. Just, I don't trust it. You and me both. <laughs> Take of it what you will. I mean, for, from here, it's actually quite far, and, and get fat, and it will be uh, pretty fat. Uh, we need to get there pretty fast in order to, to catch up to this. Especially if something should be happening like last we heard he attacked Greenus. But if uh, we need to find out where it might be nearby or and if it's going to attack something else. And plus we also kind of are in a little bit of rush because if we could get this all done uh, before tomorrow when uh, right. the Council right. of Waterdeep is going to be taken yeah. care of. So uh, otherwise this would take us a long time. So we called in some favors. So Leon called in some fa favors and, and got us surprised. Side. And Krebus comes over and looks at the dragons. We appreciate this very much. Thank you so much. They would definitely need some help with stealth flying where we need to go, go very quickly. Also, I said there are four of them. Uh, okay. Who's so, bagging? you know, you know how um, Hopper is uh, pretty calm when he when, when he, he like he speaks or anything. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see joy in his face at the thing at the thought of flying. So he's going to um, uh, misty step on the back of the dragons. Okay, which one are you uh, hopping onto? Pardon the pun. Uh, there's four or five of them. There are four of them. Four. There's a copper, brass, bronze, and silver. Uh, the silver one. You hop onto the to the back, and and he looks behind you. Oh, welcome, sir. Uh, uh, oh, what? Uh, um, uh, uh, gro you're you're grung, right? Yes, don't worry. I'm gonna try not to touch you. And you can see uh, I levitate. <laughs> well, you're going to kind of have to hold on because we're going to go pretty... Oh, boy. Quickly. And uh, Creep is coming oh. over and says, uh, hold on a second. It, it just takes the the hammer hammer and just kind of like taps uh, the uh, leg of, of the dragon you're on. And he goes, oh, whoa. How did you do that? Uh, wow. This thing does some really cool things. <laughs> Uh, protection from poison. Mm. Yeah, um, we're good. Before all this, like as it's all going around, uh, Squall is actually gonna pull Percival to the side and have a little discussion with him. Mm hmm. It's what I whisper to you. Ooh, sure. Um, so <laughs> <we're coming back. laughs> yeah. you want to know how Percy's going to give you his your inspiration but we'll find out when that comes up okay, okay. Um, but Copper. yeah and then uh, Squall was like if this is what we have to do he'll levitate up on top of the uh, bronze so you got copper and brass dragons for 
Percy and Fitch. Both of us? Yeah, you, you get you get one of them. Oh. Like do you do you do you hop on the copper one or do you hop on the brass one? I'll oh, take copper. Okay. <laughs> so a fitch pops on the brass one. And it's like, all right, everybody's ready. And uh Creepus flaps his flaps his wing wings and, and mutters something something and he uh takes his warm hammer and he goes, Let's go! And he just like shoots off like a bullet. The uh, dragons be behind him kind of f uh, float up. And it says, all right, hang on. Whoosh! They go flying through the air and you are flying across the countryside uh, faster than you would expect a dragon would even be able to go to. And you see just uh, ahead of you, probably 100 feet, is uh, uh, Krebus with his, his, his wings out flapping and he's just booking it uh with yeah, the hammer out in front ask, i was about to ask um uh, how is crevis getting around but the answer he has uh he has wings i remember now hmm. but he's he's also a humanoid with wings which usually is slower than an adult dragon and actually it's if you fitch would know this from some you know interactions with dragons these dragons are going a lot faster than a dragon normally would be going uh maybe even so faster than an ancient dragon are they drugged um you, you've high on io uh, you you could you would think that this is uh, probably more of some mag magical assistance in their in their speed after about uh, uh, half an hour or so, um, uh, Krebus slows down a little and the dragons kind of slow down behind behind him. And uh, you can see down uh, in the distance, you can see the town of uh, Greenest. Um, there seems to be uh, a bunch of damage done to it. Uh, but there is no dragon in, in sight. Uh, Krebus kind of, kind of just, uh, just hangs for for a moment, and kind of like spins around slowly, and it says, uh, "I think I got to lock on him over that lake." Then they circle around, and then they start going at a speed which seems more, more normal for a a uh, for a dragon, uh, especially adult dragon. And he spots, um, he spots this area which seems to be covered in some sort of mist. And he says, uh, "Oh, I think this must be. He must have actually layered here. Must have that. Actually, he's probably saying this out uh, much louder." Uh, it looks like they must. He must have actually layered here. This seems to be like some sort of effect. Uh, some sort of effects for from his presence. Uh, Yay! Let's let's land just outside. And uh, the uh, dragons take you down to um, an area just outside this area of mist, which kind of which extends out. From your vantage point, you qu couldn't quite see how far it went, but you could see that it would probably be like 12 miles in diameter. Is this like cloud of mist across the the area. You can see what's in it, and it just, like, the mist just lightly obscures it. The dragons uh, touch down and say... We await. We have been instructed to wait here for your return. Uh, we thank you very much for your assistance. It's, we'll be back as soon as we can. Well, you, you, you uh, get off the uh, dragons. 
Mm -hmm. And they seem to to start lazily being being about and kind of keeping watch. It says, well, into the mist we go. Fortunately, thanks to this, and he, he holds up the the Warhammer. I can sense where he is. So I can we can track him down. Follow me. That's convenient. He uh, he walks into he walks into the mist. I'm assuming you guys follow. Yeah, hesitantly. <laughs> Uh, you arrive at that more of like a um, just a, like a mid afternoon time, and as you enter the mist, the light seems to dim. Uh, the mist seems to obscure some things, so you can't see as far, but it doesn't seem to quite um, uh, uh, obscure anything outside of that. It's just that your viewing distance is, has shortened a little bit. Uh, you do hear sounds. It's just, it seems like some sort of voices. Whispers? Um, some of them sounds like whispers or it's, it's, it seems it, it's, like a slightly quieter version of a uh, uh, of like a crowded town square, busy town square. This is ah, uh, we should be getting getting closer uh, along the lakeside. Can I cast a uh, divine sense? Yeah, sure. Do you need me to read it? Um, you you don't really sense anything. What about Crevis? Anything? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I I understand what you're trying to go for, but nope. And he leads you onto a path around the lake uh, to to a rocky edge. It says, "I think the cave's right up ahead." So right here on the map. Are we placing our yep. thingies? You place your tokens. The grids aren't matching up. Yeah, I, and, and it's one of those things where I've stolen this from a source book. Oh, dude. And putting it in, onto here, I can't seem to line it up. <laughs> uh, for various reasons. So, go by the squares that are provided by Roll20 versus the squares that are on the thing. Because it doesn't provide... I don't have anything that's a non-gridded layout it's okay uh first of all i sent you a message on discord yeah i saw it i love it that's that's amazing right i mean yeah <laughs> uh the voices as you get closer seem to get louder and you end up uh, making out some conversations some of it is uh, seems necessarily conversations it almost is like some weird musing for lack of a better words um where th they're like why did i have to die oh the burning and and various things as if somebody has is reliving their moments uh just before death Well, uh, Leon warned me about this. Uh, apparently, uh, when a Karnum dragon um, layers their lost souls, or at least the voices there, end up appearing around the area. 
He makes everything all really creepy. Apparently, Raven Kronos, while having their lair, was well outside of town, and he he would actually come into town, or they would they would actually come into town, I should say. God, I would kill for these special effects. All right. This must be it. All right. So, all right. Here, here's the plan, at least for my part of it. I'm going to go in first, stay relatively close behind, like about 30 feet. Uh, and then I will put up the mat, the spell in order to suppress the dragon's abilities. So it should help with pr some protection and also might even be able to help uh, put those shackles on. Uh, hopefully everything will work out fine. So here's, so Quart provided you with uh, four magical shackles that uh, based off of a contested strength roll, you can attach, you can attempt to attach them to one of the limbs. And, um, and once it's attached, it cannot come off. Once all four are attached, it should incapacitate them. Basically, that is them. not going to be a Squall's duty, um, thing. Um, Strength is not his forte. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. is. And Percival's gonna go up and bop him on the back, and be like, "You got it, champ." Already, I can do it too. He stumbles forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it now. Yes. Okay. And right, he's got I have inspiration. Gotta love it. All right. Can I have one of those shackles? So who who has who all has a shackle or two? Oh, I, I, uh, they're a magical item. Yes, or mundane item, magical. Okay, they're a magical item. Um, they're, they're not anything you have to tune to or anything. No, but like, I couldn't just animate object. No. I'll take one. We have four to do, so you take two, I take two. Yeah, I won't be able to help though, <laughs> while I'm concentrating on the spell. I figured. I'll take two if I need. I'll take three. If I'll possible. take a couple. Alright. Oh. There's only four, first of all. <laughs> Sorry. So, if the but the two that are going to be enclosed, Percy and Fitch, each take two and then attempt to, to go for the limbs, each of the limbs. Yes. That's a... I can provide a bit of cover when it starts. I'm going to try to um, annoy this dragon. Would I know if dragons can be in magical darkness? Most dragons have true sight at one point. I don't know if this one would. Um, you would probably know that some dragons, uh, usually the uh, of the adult kind, uh, have some sort of uh, long dark vision and also blind sight. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, one Wait. second. I gotta switch headsets. All right. I need to go get two uh, sleeves. Be right back. I'm going to, based off of Krebus's vision, reveal some areas. Okay, right here. A bit over here. Let's 
I decided to not do uh, dynamic lighting because we'd be too much work. True. Also, Wind, you did get my message on Discord. Uh, oh, there's a thing in Discord. Sure, I need to go to bed early too. Um, hmm. From when you sent that. <laughs> yes. Um, Are we just going to call it? Yeah, I think we probably will have to stick with where we're going to do the fight next week, uh, mainly because people need to go to bed soon. Why? Um, and First some people have had bad days. <laughs> oh. Uh, but it's... It, you can kind of consider it as being... Um, as you're getting closer, the voices seem to be getting louder, and it's more of a cacophony. Uh, as you approach into uh, the van and peeking around a corner, uh, Krebus says, I see him, let's get ready. And we will cut it there for next time. Okay. Yeah. So sorry about that. I don't really pay attention to Discord while I'm yeah, I mean so. Mm -hmm. Why. that's okay but sorry folks for the the short show but uh hopefully next week we will get to fight an incarnum dragon a thing from 3.5 that i converted i'm not sure how well it converted but you know it converted it was 3.5's voice listed even then shopping episodes are always fun yes i am so happy I with that i have more um squall